If you've watched any of my other content, you may have heard me talk about my dislike for the conventional deadlift. I personally feel that the risk to reward ratio is not favorable for bodybuilding. And I personally just don't recommend the exercise, but that doesn't mean I don't recommend deadlifting at all. In fact, I've said many times that a staple movement that every bodybuilder should have in their routine is the RDL. Nothing puts more mass on the posterior chain than the good old Romanian deadlift. And I will preface this video by saying that the RDL is king for all deadlift variations for mass. But that doesn't mean that it's the only one that I'd use or advise having in your training program. Another option that I use myself and program for others in specific cases is the trap bar deadlift. The trap bar has actually been around since the 1980s and it was created by powerlifter Al Girard, who was trying to find a way to train around a lower back injury. And he successfully came up with a method of still training the deadlift, but with poor mobility. But more importantly, he came up with a bar that's also a great tool for bodybuilding. Now, many powerlifters will hate on the trap bar, but you need to understand that for bodybuilding, the trap bar offers a few unique advantages over the conventional deadlift. And it can even work really well with movements like the RDL and stiff leg deadlifts. So keep in mind that when you hear people bashing the trap bar, it's mostly people in the strength world who are not focused on building muscle and only care about trying to improve their competition lifts. But where does the trap bar fit in for building muscle? Is it a back movement, a leg movement, or just a full body exercise? First, we have to realize there's two basic lower body movement patterns, the squat pattern with an upright torso, and then a deadlift pattern, or more specifically, a hip hinge pattern. The trap bar, it's essentially a hybrid of both, but it's not only just a lower body movement. Due to the fact that you're pulling from the very upright position that the trap bar forces you into, the traps in the upper back are hit heavily during this exercise. And the beauty of the trap bar is that you can make it very specific to your weak point training. So if you're someone who wants to work the lower back much more, you can flip the bar over and not use the handles. This gives you a much greater range of motion and it also takes the emphasis off the quads. But now if you're somebody who needs more lower body work and you wanna make the deadlift more quad specific than you could with a barbell, using the upright handles are a great tool. And another variation that I love personally and feel where the trap bar shines even over the traditional deadlift is the use of the trap bar for an RDL. If you're performing Romanian deadlifts or stiff leg deadlifts with a traditional barbell, it forces your torso over the bar, creating much more engagement of the lower back. And if you're performing the RDL and wanna focus more on the glutes and the hamstrings, the trap bar can be a game changer as it keeps the weight outside of your body instead of in the front allowing you to really hit the glutes and the hamstrings with less stress on the lower back. Now, these are all great uses for the trap bar, but it's important to note that the trap bar shines as a tool to allow you to alter the deadlift to better suit your needs and focuses in the gym. And that's what bodybuilding is all about, using an exercise to target the specific muscle you're trying to grow, not just to lift the weight from point A to point B. And unfortunately, the idea of a conventional deadlift sounds great for building muscle, but bodybuilding is much more nuanced than pulling heavy weights off the floor. The trap bar allows you to customize these movements for your specific needs much more than you can with a straight bar, at least in the context of deadlifting. But besides the obvious fact of the trap bar being very useful for bodybuilding, any movement you use in the gym to specifically build muscle should be altered and tweaked to hit the target muscle you're aiming to train. Don't just assume that one movement will work the target muscle to the degree that you hope. Simply changing the angle, grip, body, or bar placement can be a night and day difference for hitting the target muscle. And I encourage you to experiment with these variables on virtually all movements to find the exact techniques that work best for you. Remember, bodybuilding is all about developing muscles and not just lifting weights. So if you're looking to build more muscle using proven old tool bodybuilding training methods, I recommend you check out my five day masking program in the description below. And if you wanna see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.